Alright guys, so I figured I'd make this video because one other person requested it and whenever somebody asks me what crane they should buy they always ask for an easy assembly and you know you may assume assembly as um, putting together boom sections and whatnot but uh, I feel like it's always uh, the reeving process which is also commonly referred to here on YouTube as stringing because it's just an easier term to remember and and whatnot. Um, now what you're looking at right here is where the hook would run off and if I zoom out and bring up on the line you can see I already have one whip line ran off that and as you can see the way that it's run is just right down the sheaves and you just place the string right on the sheave and then you place it on another one and then you finally bring it through the last one and you just tie it off on a little thing on the hook block. Um, other hooks are more complicated where you see more line and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Um, now the first thing that I always do and um, you know you could take this into consideration is um, I always and I know this sounds crazy but I always put a fan nearby me because this drives me absolutely crazy sometimes. Um, I guess it depends on the day. And what I mean by that is I get uh, extremely frustrated and uh, to a point where I want to throw it on the ground. And I think that's uh, what everybody feels sometimes. Um, sometimes I could, you know, go for hours, but sometimes I can't. Um, so I always put a fan nearby me because it just, you know, it brings down the frustration level. And I know it sounds crazy, but I'm telling you it works. <laughs> um, and then the next thing you want to do is go over to the drum that you're running your line out of and uh, unravel a bunch of lines. So that's what I'm going to do right here. And uh, I actually uh, untied where uh, I had this uh, strung from. And uh, I brought out a, a bunch of line I probably have um, around two and a half feet of line. Now, you don't have to bring out a lot of line. For this current configuration, I'm going to run four parts of line, and what I mean by parts of line is um, pretty much if you have two sheaves, you have four parts of line. That doesn't necessarily work. If you tie it off on the hook block, you'll have an odd amount of line, but um, you can just tell by how, many, uh, how much line is on the front and the back. So if you see uh, two line on the front, there'll be four parts of line if it's not tied off on the block. Um, once you have um, a decent amount of string out of the drum, uh, what you want to do is you want to get your hook block ready and for some crane models uh, for example if I have a lot of line on my block what I'll do is I'll actually get some uh, old cr old line from a crane and I'll tie the block even so uh, like on the 18,000s block or even on this block you could see there's um, a little tie off right there um, you could tie it like somewhere you could even tie it right here and it'll keep it level so it won't uh, jump and everything um, but you don't have to do it for this crane. Some of them you do, like I said, if you're running a lot of line, it's best to do it like that. You could also place the block on the on the table down below, but then it gets annoying if you have to bring more line out because you have to make sure it always stays even. I'm going to adjust the camera so you can get a much better view, and I'll get this thing started. Alright, so for this part of the video, I'm going to give you guys a close-up of how to do it. So, you have no hook block running here, and you could see... The end of the line is right here and there's no hook block off it. One thing I would highly suggest, because this always happens, is to put a little bit of crazy glue on the table below, or if, even if you have a piece of cardboard from the box from the model or whatnot, is to just put a little crazy glue on it and then just dab this into the crazy glue a little bit and then wipe it off with your fingers. The reason for that is because it, actually, it doesn't make uh, the end of it uh, frayed. So it won't be unraveling or anything. That's probably the biggest tip I would give, and it's worked the best for me throughout the years. Because on string like uh, TWH models, it's braided, and it will come unbraided if you don't. Um, some things what I do is I just wet the end sometimes, but the best thing to do is put a little crazy glue. And you don't want to put too much to where it won't roll on the sheaves, but uh, you know, just enough to where it covers it, and uh, it won't come unraveled or braided at the end. So once you have your hook block and you know, the correct way that you want it. This one doesn't matter. What you're going to do is 
just run the line through anywhere on the hook block. And you want to make sure you don't go under um, anything that intrudes the sheaves. So uh, you want to go under, uh, say, right there. And as you can see, it's already giving me problems, but uh, this is what comes along with doing that. I just want to make sure I'm in the camera view. Um, so you just want to run it under there. And then you could hold it like that and then bring it through like that. And you just bring it through to where it's through. So now you see it's through. And you want to get it level on the sheaves. So um, I'm going to run mine on the far left sheave and on the far right sheave. And this also works if you have a lot of light. But, you know, I could just see because I've had it read like this for maybe two months. And I, I know exactly how it is. Um, but you want to get it on the far left sheave. And sometimes it could be a pain. But if you push all the sheaves to the end of the block and then you just put it there, you could see it's on the far left. So this one I didn't tie off on the crane, so you know it's gonna come uneven uh, during I do it. But if you can't do that, just let it down all the way. The next part up here it could sometimes be pretty difficult, and I'm gonna actually use this hook to tie it off. But you can see up here there's a bunch of sheaves. Now what I do on this one is I run this one all the way over, and being that I'm going to space one of the sheaves in the hook block I'm going to also leave one space up here and once I do it you'll see what I'm talking about sometimes I'm not the best at explaining this stuff but I try so now what you're gonna do once it's you can see it's like this and it almost uh, resembles a real crane you're gonna bring it up over these sheaves and what I mean by that is you're basically gonna go from the back of these sheaves and bring it through and then place it down on one of those sheaves and if you notice you can see there's a large gap in between those two and that's because I simply spaced it on the hook block as well what I'll do now is I'll show you what it looks like without its space and that's what it looks like without its space you can see it's very close together you don't want to do that because then I'll run the line uneven so you want to space it one like that and then just bring up and you could tell if your line isn't on the sheave because it'll come up like that all crooked and whatnot. So uh, once you bring it up like that, you want to hold the end of the line and then just adjust it. It's, it's really just an adjusting game at this point. Um, so, let's see, I don't think I spaced one. And then you could see I spaced one and it will come down like that. Once it's like that, you bring it under the hook lock again. And I'll bring it up as far as possible because I, I can't see if I'm uh, actually showing this on the camera. But you bring it through the hook block again. And then you can let it down. Um, just remember, the more line you have out on the hook block, it e the easier it will be to actually read it. And then you bring it through the hook block like that. And you can see it's stringed right there in less than pretty much five minutes. Um, and it's it's very simple to do so now that you have it like this you want to you know hold the string up here and then uh, not too tight but then pull down on the hook block to where you have enough line to what you do is tie it off and you can see here's the end of it and you could tie it off pretty much anywhere possible I used to tie a lot of mine off in the sheaves but then it would clog up the sheaves and whatnot so what I do is I just tie it off up top over here um, sometimes the tying off is a little more complicated than the actual reaving because it's hard to get to and whatnot, but uh, at this point I just tie it off anywhere I could uh, bring the string through and uh, sometimes if you can't get it through the lattice sections you, you could bend the, the string and sometimes it'll bend sometimes it, it won't but uh, you could tell it's just sometimes it's pretty annoying and uh, th what I do for that is I actually get the TWH pick and I will just uh, you know kinda just try to shove it through there and uh, it works pretty damn good. And there it's through. And then you just tie a knot on the lattice sections. Very simple. Now, once you have the knot tied, to not let it come loose when you have a load hanging from it. What you want to do 
is put get a little crazy glue and just dab the end of the knot with the crazy glue. Not where uh, you know you uh, actually tie the tie off to the section, but the actual knot so it won't come loose. Uh, once you do that, you could cut the rest of the string and you'll be ready to lift stuff. Um, after you're done, uh, you know, cutting and whatnot, I always just go over to make sure nothing jumped or nothing's perfect. Um, you could always adjust it on here, as you could tell. Um, even if you, even if it jumps, you could lift the whole thing up, like so, and adjust it. But uh, that's really only if uh, it jumps the sheave. Um, most likely, you will always have it jump the sheave. I, whenever I unravel or you know bring it up, I always put uh, some weight on it. And uh, if you want to see it roll. To test your work, I will show you that right now. And like I said, you always have to put some weight on it. But as you can see, it rolls uh, perfectly. Now, if you have more line on it, the obvious thing to do is just, you know, keep going over and under and then over and under. And uh, I always use the over and under uh, reeve. Uh, I guess configuration, or whatever you want to call it, uh, because it's just the easiest way. And uh, like I said, you just keep going over and under, over and under, until you have the correct amount. Um, now what I always do is, I always put my string towards the center of the block, so if this hook block had more line, like this one, I would still put it in the center. Um, and it's just very simple, as you could tell. It really doesn't get much easier than this, unless you actually go and do it yourself. Which I highly suggest doing because it is very simple, as you could tell I did it in maybe around 4 minutes. And uh, that's pretty much it to it. If you have any questions or if I didn't explain something uh, well enough, please let me know in the comments. Because uh, I feel like this is a, a, a very helpful video. And uh, if you have a whip line, you just, you know, bring that down. And then lock that into configuration and you're ready to lift. Um, right now I'm just going to bring my hook block down because... I don't necessarily like how it looks that far up, but um, that's just me. And uh, once that, you just go through the whole configuration. You just make sure it's good. Oh, I'll bring it up a little bit, and that's pretty much the way it is. If you got metal or plastic sheave, same exact way. And hope you enjoyed the video. So take care.